Good morning, guys. So I am feeling compelled to share this message about self-love and what it is and what it's not. I have found a lack of self-love to be one of the main reasons I see people not be able to get results that they want, especially in their bodies, but in other areas of their life too. By the way, got my fun little handy dandy. <laughs> Anyway, I'm heading out to Hawaii in a little bit, but I was like, I got to get this out. So what I have found is that I think what blocks people from the self-love thing, like practicing self-love, is that what most people think is self-love is actually bullshit fake self-love, bullshit fake love. I'm like, this has been super eye-opening as I work with this with clients on themselves I'm like, that's what you think love is? That's not love, dude. That's not love. <laughs> so what I, what I found is like we have gotten into, it's kind of like the parenting movement that's been happening since like the 2000s of like, we think being loving to your kid is like making them happy in a weird way or telling them really nice things about themselves, right? Like you're so smart. I'm being a loving parent by telling them they're so smart. I'm like, actually, you're probably going to create some sort of trauma in them and <laughs> in which they now feel like they have to prove that they're smart. Okay. <laughs> Good morning guys. So what I have found, what I have found is a major block to self love is not understanding the fact that self love, in my opinion, this is what love is. When you love someone, including yourself, the energy underneath of that is I want what's best for you. And I feel like if we can keep that energy in mind in everything that we're doing for ourselves and how we're showing up in our relationships with others is, do I want what's best for me? And do I want what's best for them? Or do I need something from them? Do I need something from me in order to then receive love? That is conditional love. And what I have found in my work that I'm doing with people is that most people were raised in conditional love and are treating themselves in conditional love and they're doing it to everybody around them too. So for example, I will love you. You will get more love, right? Like we're weird with the word love, but it's like you'll get more respect, praise, admiration. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you you're valuable now or worthy when you achieve this. But when you're not, no. Mm-mm. I got a zero tolerance policy on love if you don't meet this metric, this metric, this metric. And that, that is what creates this demoralized feeling that causes people to give up, quit, all this stuff. So in, in the body, because obviously that's the main thing I'm working with, with people, it's really, really, really hard for people to get to a place of even understanding, like, let's say you're not where you want to be with your body. I'll put it that way. And to talk about loving yourself, that puts people on edge because they're like, no, I'm not going to love this. I don't accept this where I'm at right now. So no, you will get love and praise and respect and admiration, all those things when you achieve this metric. And guess what? If you're treating your body like that, you're treating everyone in your life like that. Everyone, your kids, your spouse, your, the people you work with, all your friends and yourself is, mm, it's conditional love. And so what I, what I work on very, you know, very often all the time, every single, pretty much every client I work with, what we're working on is what is actually love and love is this. I call it mom love, good mom love, healthy mom love of, okay, let's say you're suffering in an area. What does love look like? Does love look like mm, rejection? judgment, shame. So let's say your kid is struggling in an area. Are you going to show up with them? Like that is not okay. That is not acceptable. Probably. Cause that's how most people are showing up is what I'm finding. Right. It's this like super disdain, like zero tolerance policy until you meet this metric that I approve of. Okay. Now, now we're talking, but instead love, love, the actual energy of love goes into this. Hey, first of all, what's wrong? What's going on? I'm here to listen. I'm here to help. I'm here to support. What's going on? You're not doing any of your homework. You're not doing well in life. What's wrong? Would you like to talk about it? So 
paralleling that to ourselves with our bodies or our finances or our careers. What's up? Hey, I'm here. You want to talk about it? Okay. And then fake bullshit self-love is this. Fake bullshit self-love is like, you're doing great, honey. You're doing great. You, you Don't worry about it. That's what people think love is. And so that's why they don't want to do that in their health journeys. They get, think it's this permissive bullshit of like, you're just doing great. No, that's not what love is. Love is, I want what's best for you. So, hey, it's okay. You're human. I'm here to listen. I'm here to support. And, and I want what's best for you. So I'm here to help however I can. And if we can take that approach with our bodies of like, hey, I hear you. I'm listening. I see you. What do you need? Right? I'm all beat up right now. I I biffed it hard running down a hike yesterday with my kids. It was bad. I like almost passed out twice. It was a little traumatic. I've got a bunch of shit going on. My knee is effed. My <laughs> finger got completely dislocated. I got something going on with my shoulder. All this stuff. And you know what? You know where I am right now? I'm at the gym and I'm flying out to Kauai this morning for my birthday trip. But you know why I'm at the gym? Not because I have goals. Not because I'm like, I got to push through the pain. Nothing like that. I'm here right now because I asked my body. I tuned in hard this morning and I was like, okay, hey. And I, I, I talked. I talked to my knee. I did. My knee is like pretty swollen and messed up. And I was like, I was like, Hey, good job guys. I'm saying guys, cause I'm talking all, all the little cells and all the, you know, the immune system and everything that's working there. And I'm like, dude, thank you for helping this heal. What do you need? And I heard clear as day. You're going to be on a flight all day today. I need you to walk a little bit gently, slowly to get, to keep some blood flow going because you're going to get, it's going to get stiff as hell if you don't. So here I am. So I'm showing up. So that is it. It's not like, yeah, I got to push through shit. Like that's what we think. Like <laughs> bettering ourselves is, is like, I got to completely deny myself and prove that I'm this kind of person. That's not, no, that shit sucks. I am here gently listening and supporting because I heard intuitively that I need to get some movement going, right? That's it. And if I heard, no, please do not walk, like chill, like stay home. I'd be like, okay, that's the energy of love is I hear you. Thank you. I love you guys. Thank you, little immune cells. You guys doing freaking awesome. What do you need? I'm here to help. I'm here to support. That is love. So if you want to lose body fat, you want to change your career, anything, it's I'm here, I'm listening, and I want what's best for you. So what do you need? I'm here to help. That's it. That's all it takes. And we get in that energy over and over. That's when things start going up in our lives. So I have found just over and over, I'm like, I think people are resistant to resistant to self-love because they don't even effing know what love is. Seriously, I get in these conversations all the time. Self-love is not saying, hey, you're awesome, man. You're awesome. That's not what it is. That's It's so far off. And it goes with this everybody gets a trophy thing that we've like gotten into. Like it's it's so off. It has nothing to do with like you're awesome or not. I mean, yes, there's aspects of being like, hey, like, dude, good job. I see you and all that. But like only when warranted in sec in the second aspect of that is it's it's more of a supportive energy. So self self love is self support. Not this conditional love bullshit of I'll love you when you make a million dollars. I'll love you when you help a million people. I'll help you when you are the fittest, you know, I'll love you when you're the fittest person that I've ever seen. Like no, bullshit, dude. No you won't because that's not your pattern. It'll never be enough ever. And I've seen this. How many bodybuilders do we have to see that freaking hate their bodies for all of us to be able to be like, "Hmm, that must not be it." <laughs> Proving it must not work. No. Or millionaires multi, you know, eight figure earners plus that are not happy with themselves or their lives. You can't earn it. It has to start now. And it's it, the way of thinking around it. I have seen this is just because I'm in these conversations every day. You guys, every day I am in these conversations with people and what people think is love is conditional love. And it sucks to see because when they start to earn it with themselves a little bit, then they're, they're like, yeah, everything's all good in the world. But what happens when they lose it? What happens when shit starts to go south? 
Now you got caught with your pants down because you did not. You were just covering a lack of self-love with proving, proving value, proving worth. So I don't care if you're 700 pounds right now. Self-love is, hey, I'm listening. I hear you. I love you, body. What do you need? Okay, I'm listening. Okay, and I'm going to show up and support. That's it. And we stay in that energy. That's where we, that's why we finally get there. And we get there in an energy that is freaking amazing. So that's my push. I got I had to leave that cause it's been pulling at me for like two days. It's like, talk about self-love, talk about self-love, what it is and what it isn't. And the, the easiest way for me to remember is self-love is I want what's best for you. Love. When we love someone in our lives, we want what's best for them. If they don't want to be in a relationship with us, you know what love is? Okay. Because I want what's best for you, right? They want to go on an entrepreneurial journey. Love is, okay, how can I support? Good for you. Go go for it. Get it. Let's go. Not, well, how's that going to affect me? <laughs> That's selfishness, okay? So love is, I want what's best for you. So when you go to eat your food, self-love is, hey, body, thanks for everything you do for me every day. Super appreciate you. Is there anything you need? Oh, you need some vitamin C? Okay, I can do that. That's love. Love with our kids is not, mm, you didn't, blah, blah, blah. You're not meeting up to my metrics in order to receive love. No, it's, hey, what's up? What do you need? Okay, yeah. Dude, I go through stuff like that too. That's freaking hard. I hear you. Is there anything I can do? No? Okay. Well, just know I'm going through that shit too. <laughs> love you. <laughs> That's it. That's what love is. You know, so anyway, I'll have to get into this more later, but this is a, this is an issue. I was like, damn, we don't know what love is. We think conditional love is love. <laughs> we got a conditional love problem. I'm seeing it all day, every day. Yeah. So I guess I'll leave this with a question for you guys is what about yourself? Do you not think, sorry, I connected to the Wi-Fi at the gym. What about yourself? Do you not think is lovable? And that right there, if you can start loving that side of yourself, and people will say, no, I'm not going to love my big obese belly, Tara. <laughs> I seriously, I get met up with this energy. I'm not going to love that. Mm. Well, the fact that you're not loving it is why it's like that. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. And when you can change that and be like, hey, what's up? What do you need? It's like, you know what? I need you to start walking every day. Okay. I can do that. And do it. That's love. <laughs> okay. So find those aspects of yourself that you don't think are lovable about you. And come in the energy of compassion and love of like, what do you need? And seeing also the beauty in it. Because you got a big obese belly. Guess what? That big obese belly saved your life over and over and over and over and over. You would have died from high blood sugar. Good morning from Arizona. Thank you. So it's like, actually you damn well should be loving your big obese belly because it saved your effing life. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. What do I need? What do I need to do to help? That's it. And you start honoring that and getting connected to yourself and showing up. Love also when we are in the energy of love, we show that through action, right? We don't like neglect our kids and then be like, I love you so much. It's like, okay, well, like, so there's some sort of disconnect here going on, <laughs> you know? And so it's the same with our bodies. It's the same with ourselves and how we relate to ourselves. It's the same with our partners, right? Do you have all these metrics and expectations and all you're seeing is everything they're not? If so, take that little, these three fingers right here. You're doing that to yourself. That's why you're doing it to them. I have seen miraculous changes in relationships of my clients only by working on how they relate to themselves. So they start being more compassionate to themselves, more loving to themselves, more kind to themselves. Instantly start being that way to their partner. It's, it's so awesome to watch. Seriously. And less detachment, neediness. It's just like, I want what's best for me. So of course I want that for everybody else. It's cool. 
All right, guys, I'm going to go gently walk on the treadmill here. See how it goes. All right. Much love.